hi all so in this video we are going to continue and add a ROS to the light plugin that we wrote last time so what we are going to do basically we are going to make a ROS subscriber that's going to subscribe to a gazebo plugin is going to subscribe to this ROS topic and this topic name is light control and based on the data that's coming on this topic that will be of string type and based on the data that's coming on this topic this light color is going to get changed from red blue green okay so what we are going to do is that so we are going to publish it from a terminal on this topic light color topic we will publish the color and based on that this gazebo plugin is going to subscribe to that this topic light color topic and it based on this it's going to publish on this topic that we already know from the last video of light modify that's basically the gazebo topic okay so this is how we are going to control the lights so if you see this part we already discussed in the last video okay and this part we have discussed in very detail how to add cross onto gazebo plugins model plugin in video number six those were there were two format one was simple and one were as ones so whole part we actually already discussed so that's it in the video no, I am joking. <laughs> I am going to explain you some of the logics over here, but the detail I have already explained you. That's what I mean. So you already know the details. I am just going to give you some logics. So if you want, you can read from there from the video. You can watch the video and read the documentation of Ross Gazebo model plugin. There were two techniques on that: simple and advanced. Same here. We also have two techniques simple and advanced that is basically whatever plugin you write whatever plugin you write if ROS part is there then the, these two are only available the simple one and advanced one that we already discussed it's just that this message type is going to get changed or something else will be there okay but the lo entire logic of ROS in gazebo plugin will be same that I have already explained you in very much depth so now what I have done I have created a new ROS package that's basically the copy of the earlier one only light move plugin that we wrote last time that's this light control ROS is just the copy of the previous one only thing is that in this we are going to add ROS onto this that's why I've named it differently I made a new package out of it so that you do not get confused okay and I have opened it in visual studio code so you can see the simple prefix I've added over here and the one I've same as the ROS model plugin so simple one will be using this ROS subscriber and the advanced one you will be using ROS subscription options these all things I have already explained now let's look at the code so this whole part you already know it's just that we are going to add ROS night now so we are using the ROS and it will be of type string so we are using the standard message string you can see from here this standard message string message is there so i've just included this message onto this plugin okay so that's so that i will be using this now this model plugin is inherited same thing the load function loads now this is where we initialize the ROS and we check for if ROS is initialized or not if ROS is not initialized then it will stop giving it a message if ROS is properly initialized then what we are going to do we are going to use the ROS subscriber to subscribe to that topic ROS node is there all the private members even I have declared over here ROS node ROS subscriber light control string all those things so that's already been declared so I am just calling that and subscribing to this light color topic I am giving it a queue size I passed this as a reference this whole logics I have already explained you using this it is going to subscribe to this color callback that's basically over here this color callback is there and after this every part of this is already done in the last video even the function name is same either the variable name is same everything is same you see you check them out we already know how the things works over here all of this we know this thing with pointer we also know complete name we all of these things now what have changed from this is that this control light you remember the last time that we were doing there were active and 
based on that light was turning on and off so over here i've replaced that with a color string so that based on that it is now going to publish on that color string so what's basically going to do is that it sets the name now based on the color that it's receiving on this color if it receives the reds then it is going to make red color as one so this is r g b values so red color will be one value and alpha will always be one you can see all of this that mutable diffuse function that we used last time in that i am going to make red color prominent so light will be red colored when i make it green color prominent light will be in green color same way and at last that's going to publish on that topic so basically it will publish this part is already there that we know from last video so it is going to do that now coming to the callback ross callback this ross callback and on update is also a callback that's gazebo callback that's based on event that you already know i'm talking about but i'm here talking about ross callback color callback function so what this function is going to do is we have declared at constant and this is the ross callback the same logic as we all know from the ross this we declared as a constant so message doesn't get changed pointer so that we can use it efficiently now this message is there it is receiving this message we are receiving message on that now message of data is there this message is a pointer that's why using the pointer to access this data dot so this converting it to c string so that we can print it on ross topic so this message is there that this string message is there that data is only there so data dot data that's why we have done over here pointing to this data okay pointer is there otherwise if it is not pointer then it will be dot so this you already know from us so it is going to just print whatever message comes over here and now the next thing it's going to do is this is a data member on this data member light color name it is going to store our data so that every time we change the name this this data member is going to have that that color name whether it's red green blue and it's now from events that we declared over here i know you already know this so events that we declared over here this on update is going to come run continuously as we already know on every simulation it does so now this on update is constantly running repeatedly so what i've done over here is this my data is always going to store the ross message ross data message that we publish so i've just passed this onto this control light so what is going to now happen is that whenever ross message receive red color then this light color is going to get red and now this will go inside this function now this if it is red then this is going to run if it gets green we get in ross message we get the message as green then green is going to run if we get as blue then blue is going to run the simple logic very simple logic okay now everything is there registered everything all of this days are very simple and last time if you remember we write inside that we also write to move the model but here we are not moving the model so that's why we are just controlling the right okay on update within the on update but this is very small line small line of code over here that's why same thing is also done on this i in the simple one i have just prefix i have given it simple and this i have not given so that means that's the advanced subscriber option is there now with that all of the things come that i've already explained you ross q and all those things ross q thread then it will work the same thing it's the same thing even the function is same everything is same it's just the method that we have used ross options okay so both are the same codes now let's try and run the code i know you already understood the logic now let's go on to this i'm just going to run the simple version of it Okay. So I've already built the plugin. So I'm going to launch this. Now we are getting this complete name. Is the same thing that we got in the last video. So that's why we are getting the name. Now this light is there. Now let's see our topic got registered or not. Now see ROS model plugin loaded. So you can see over here that means that our code is running fine. 
this comes that means this ROS is initialized now let's check other messages that we have or we'll do ROS topic list so light color was the message name now we are going to publish on this message so let's try and publish red this message we'll do we'll just publish once that's why we've written minus one over here so it will just publish for three seconds come back now this thing got changed to red now let's try green now it's turning to green the logic very simple because you already understood most of the most of this part of the code now although the code looks big in real but it's once you understand it, it's very simple the color got changed too so this is how we control the lights and it's very simple and i hope you found it very simple and by yourself you can try, try this advanced version you already understood this whole thing the model plugin advanced version if you do not then just check those videos out so that's why i say you to follow the videos in sequence okay so that you do not get confused so that's it in the video see you next time and i hope you enjoyed this video